Hey everyone, what's up? Here's the site from Ranking10x.com and the video that you're gonna just see in a few seconds that's on CGR manipulation. I'm just here to give you a bit brief before I uh, practically show you how you can do it. First of all, CGR manipulation is basically a black hat technique that we use to improve search engine rankings. It's basically manipulating the uh, you know click through rate. So just a disclaimer, it's not for everyone. Okay, it's only for the people who are done with most of the stuff. You know who are really good at, with foundations. Uh, of the SEO you know and the other aspects of SEO backlinks and all those th things okay it's just a cherry on top to get you ranked at the top if your GMB if your website is kind of stuck at the moment okay and again uh, a disclaimer if done wrong you might see a penalty instead of a boost okay so do only if you think that you're doing right and you're sure about that okay then only do that otherwise I won't really suggest that because I have seen people who thought they are really good at it but they just penalize GMBs okay it's kind of something that might really trigger penalties or that might you know downgrade your GMB ranking instead of kind of improving that so that was a quick disclaimer again as I say on almost all of my videos if you need any help if you are a business owner looking to grow your business or uh, using marketing tactics feel free to book a call with me using the link given in the description okay that was it let's jump into the main video and yep yeah, just another thing uh, in this video i have uh, shown how to do ctr manipulation using a software known as awesome traffic bot i'm not affiliated with that i'm just showing that because that's what i use and that's a tool that i really love okay you can use other tools as well for instance uh, there's one known as agency ssn there's another one called ctr booster tons of tools out there i've used them they're pretty good as well uh, totally depends on what's your budget uh how much you're willing to spend okay if you're some techie guy then only go with atp other atb otherwise you have other tools as well uh, for instance agency assistant that was all now let's directly jump into the main video hey everyone what's up here's the site and in this one i'm gonna show you how you can set up atb aka uh, awesome traffic bot and how you can use this tool to increase your maps ranking no i'm not affiliated with that although it's a good tool so i thought of creating a tutorial because few people were asking so i will be also coming up with another video comparing different cdr tools based on how they are giving me the results so stay tuned for that so here is how you have to create a campaign you just have to go on campaigns then click on create a new campaign once you have installed this tool obviously so you have name here user agent device percentage and stuff like that let me show you so i'm putting just xyz for now then you have a user agent device percentage you have to split the percentage of uh you know visitors or bots you want from different devices i've added 35 from desktop mobile 55 then tablet 10 it's totally upon you i and how the data of your website or your GMB looks like uh, as of now you know then you have number of visitors I'm just putting 100 for now although you have to do your own research how many uh, you know visitors you're getting as of now to your GMB or your you know you to your website it really depends on that and I usually improve start with you know 10 to 15 percentage of improvement in or you know increase in traffic uh, then slowly I, I build that and slowly I'll get to you know 30 40 percentage uh, over the months then you have tags here then you you know delay between campaigns it's basically the amount gap or the time gap between a bot between a bot visiting your website okay for instance if a bot visited your website right now then after how many seconds you want another bot to visit your website okay like that then you have multi-threading here it's basically you know ATB uh, you know uses processors called threads uh, to process campaigns and execute different tasks each thread can you know control one browser so uh, you know let's say you want multi-threading so you know with five threads you can uh, you, or you know ATB can control five browsers and simultaneously they can send you know five visitors at the same time so if you want let them multi uh, visitors at the same time you can use this uh, option okay and then you have browser profiles it's basically it allows you to you know add history passwords cookies and those sort of stuff into the browser same just think of it like this okay if I am someone with experience who and if there's another one who is just into SEO, whom would you trust more? Most probably me. Uh, yo, I'm not doing any promotion. I'm just uh, saying this for now. Okay. Most probably me. Same way uh, it goes like with Google as well. You know, Google trust browser or Google trust, uh, you know, a user more if he has a good search history, there's some sort of cookies into uh, his browser and, you know, some history basically. Okay. So you can have that as well. Then you have uh, log all activities. Basically, if you want to record all the activities. 
although it's gonna increase the amount of pressure or i would say it's gonna increase the amount of resources the tool is taking right now so only do this if you're not running up some sort of very big campaigns then you have block resources again same stuff goes for this as well if you want to reduce the amount of load on the device you can enable this one then you start minimize and scroll then you can also schedule this okay then we have next step just click on that now you have you know proxy uh then you know android phone vpn and pp triple poe i really don't know what this one is i haven't ever used that but i i have used these three it's pretty simple just go on to proxy whatever proxy service you're using import that from there click on the kind of format you're using for instance let's say this then paste them here or click on import proxy and then you're good to go then we have next step here from here we can add task okay just click on that and here's the main stuff whether you want google traffic whether you want traffic to your website or google maps and stuff like that you are having here plus one more thing if you want direct traffic you can use this here okay one thing i tell you because this is pretty good usage and i've really seen very few people using this so here's the basic thing you know web results you can just put keywords here then website page url select the search engine domain then search language then mode or regular and fast or advanced if you want more settings you can click on advanced or if you want to just start with whatever the default setting is just click on regular and fast it really depends on how you want to start then you have this stuff here use google account click on yes then uh, you can do or add the accounts here and delay on the main web page web page then visit another web pages you can set this too if you want the bot to visit another page from that page you can also select whether you want the bot to click on internal link or external link and then one more stuff here gps simula simulation okay so what it does is it goes to your website or gmb from this particular latitude or longitude or location pretty easy you can click on plus whatever a location let's say you know town hall or let's say nyc museum whatever it is and then i'll click app plus you also have the map option here you can just click on this you can search for let's say you know nyc williamsburg bridge and then you can just select let's say this and then you can click on done that's it you can add as many as latitude longitude or location you want this is pretty sick feature okay this is really really good especially when you're using this tool for gmb or uh, cvr manipulation okay you can do the same stuff here you know business name keyword and a lot of stuff plus you have one more option of advanced function here you can select the profile although most of you won't be using this another feature that i really like about is direct traffic okay so what you can do is if you let's say you want direct traffic to a url from let's say yelp or you want direct traffic to your website from facebook or from any social media pinterest or anything like that you can put that here okay then you can put the social media from here this is really really good for instance i can have facebook from here and then i can have you know gps uh, simulated from here and then i can put the page url here this is something that not really a lot of people are using but you know this really works so if you are not using this test this let me know how it's working for you so yep this was pretty much about atb i know this wasn't a very detailed tutorial but i guess this should be enough for most of you who are gonna test this tool okay and again saying i'm not affiliated with this tool i'm just showcasing because i like this tool okay and as i say uh stay tuned for more videos like this i'll be coming up with really cool uh you know gmb testing stuff gmb sops and stuff like that okay that was all thanks for watching bye, -bye.